everyone. Uh, welcome back if you uh, were watching Kathleen and Kirk earlier. If you're new to the stream, welcome. Uh, my name is Ren, and today we are going to be um, looking at the work of the wonderfully talented Lydia Lukianova. I hope I'm saying your last name right. I don't think I've ever said it in you, person. You did a good job. Okay. <laughs> I did a good job. Um, Lukian. So, yeah. So Lydia is an illustrator and designer, and she does all sorts of amazing projects. Um, and today, she is going to be starting off uh, working in the iPad Pro. Uh, we're going to be making a postcard that's a great example of something you might send to um, an art director. It's a good promotional tool. And um, she's going to be start, starting to work in the iPad Pro. Um, she's going to be using Sketch to um, start drawing. And then tomorrow, she's going to be working in Illustrator and Photoshop, uh, bringing it to the desktop. And then on the third day, um, we're going to be bringing it into uh, an app called HP Reveal. It's an augmented reality app um, to animate your imagery. Um, really cool, innovative use of uh, illustrations. And Lydia, you had brought uh, an example of something you had used uh, with the HP Reveal app. Um, it's this wonderful poster. If any of you were at Adobe Max, uh, Lydia uh, collaborated with uh, Brian Yap, another amazing illustrator on the Saint Motel poster. Um, and it is uh, an augmented reality illustration. Lydia, do you want to Mm -hmm. Do you want to show it off? Yeah, so this is one of the uh, uh, last projects and actually the first experiment for me to uh, use augmented reality and add that component to a static image. Um, so uh, the poster is a trigger and um, we created animations using Photoshop to overlay them over the static image in a free AR tool platform called Orasma. And um, so then we also use the Orasma app and uh, that translates the. Uh, okay, can we switch over to uh, the GoPro? Do a little bit of finagle in here. That sh shows the animation. Yeah. Okay, so we got so the poster here, there, right? Here's how it works. Okay, gotta stand up for this. Right, so in the HP Reveal app, um, you are seeing the animation that Lydia did on the desktop. And um, as you run the Reveal app over the poster, you get to see this really cool animation. Really wonderful use of. So I'm going to show how to make the mini poster in um, three days. Yeah. And that is a postcard, which. Um, I think would be a cool and useful project for a lot of um, artists and illustrators who want to promote themselves and um, send out a promo card to a potential client mm -hmm. and uh, an agency. So it would be nice to enhance your illustration with uh, animations. And Definitely. we'll try to show how to do that using um, three main, uh, four main tools for Adobe apps um, and an iPad. Yeah, it's a great example of a mobile to desktop workflow and back to mobile. Um, yeah. So if uh, those of you who um, maybe have an iPad who love to sketch, it would be great to follow along with us. Um, I think yeah. you know, we're going to spend a lot of time today in uh, sketch. So you know, if you guys want to want to try it out, please do. Um, we also have a contest running today. Um, it, if you check out the challenge tab on uh, be.net slash live, uh, you can join the contest. Um, the idea is to draw a superhero um, using either Photoshop or Illustrator. And uh, we have a couple of assets that uh, you should use in your submission. So please make sure to use them. Um, otherwise, uh, we won't be counting your submission. Um, so yeah, uh, Lydia, do you want to jump into yeah. Illustrator? So not Illustrator. No, Sketch. Illustrator Sketch. Photoshop <laughs> Sketch. Yes. Oh, okay. We're starting on the Photoshop Sketch. Yeah. So today we'll primarily just sketch on an iPad, mm -hmm. and if you are an active iPad user, that something you would do or find useful. If you've never heard about Adobe Sketch yet, I'll recommend to try it out because that's what I use all the time now. Like I basically never sketch on paper Neither do pencil I. anymore. Yeah. It's really <laughs> nice. Having Adobe Sketch. Um, 
So, uh, I think I'm going to draw birds today because I know you like birds. I so love birds. Brennan is an illustrator bird. herself, and that's her like key <laughs> subject matter. Yeah. Um, maybe I got inspired from you actually. Yeah, you've been drawing a lot of birds as well. <laughs> Um, so typically I use reference images. Mm -hmm. um, you use and, a lot uh, of uh, Adobe stock, right? Yes. And uh, it's pretty easy to actually uh, place images from Adobe mm -hmm. stock. Yeah. In Absolutely. Sketch, and I'm going to show how to do that. Yeah. So this is our canvas in Adobe Sketch. And um, it's a raster drawing tool. It's free, so you can download it anytime to try it out. And it has, similar to Photoshop, it has layers. And um, you can place an image from your camera roll from your iPad, or you can search for an image on Adobe Stock. Well, I guess I need an active <laughs> network yeah. connection. Yeah, it's, it's very important to connect to Wi-Fi <laughs> but for you. I did Don't a smart stop. thing. I already downloaded some preview images from Adobe that Stock, so that I have them in my camera roll. So when you're browsing Adobe Stock, you can save preview images to uh, your iPad if you want yes. to test out using them before you uh, consider buying them to use. Yeah, and I think you can, with your membership, you have like some free images. Too yeah, I believe you have 10 free images, correct me if I'm wrong, to start out with, uh, with your Adobe CC subscription. Um, so it's a great way to test it out. Um, stock images are fantastic reference. I know Robzilla uses a lot of um, stock images, uh, and they're, we have so many great resources there. Yeah. So what uh, you need to keep in mind, uh, you need to plan ahead how your animation is going to work so that to have a really nice illustration. Because so the way we have animation, the loop, and you want to know exactly what the first frame and the last frame is. Um, so I'm going to animate a bird. And um, ideally, I would look for on stock uh, a series of photographs that shows, represent different steps of animations that I can uh, recreate in my sketch, since I'm using reference images mm -hmm. and not drawing from my imagination. So I have, I'll place a couple of others. Um, Thanks for the confirmation, the motion, Tim, yeah. to the, the 10 credits. Um, and Jim, you're looking forward to seeing this process? Yeah, I am too. Um, this is my first time watching Lydia work live, so that's, that's really exciting to see. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. So I have three birds. I may need a fourth one at some mm -hmm. point, but this will be good to start out with. Reduce the opacity of the layer and then add a new sketch layer mm -hmm. and start drawing. So Lydia, how long have you been using uh, the iPad and the sketch app? Um, two years. Two years. So basically, <laughs> two since years. the iPad Pro came well, out. Well, I would say that I I own I've been I own it for two years, mm -hmm. but I think I kind of looked at it and just tried to figure it out for maybe a couple of months, mm -hmm. and uh, then all of a sudden I had this aha moment and I realized, oh, okay, so this is how it works. Yeah. And so there is always this learning curve with any app. Um, sometimes it's useful just to start working on real projects mm -hmm. to figure tools out. I agree. That really is a motivator mm -hmm. to learn fast, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially if you have a deadline. Yeah. Um, and that's what, um, well, right now I'm working on as a designer in the studio team and mm -hmm. there are a lot of deadlines and I mostly use iPad to do my work. Mm -hmm. So you have to be fast. Yeah. Uh, how many of those out there use uh, iPad Pros um, in your workflow, uh, even on the job or on the go. Um, I personally love using the iPad Pro uh, myself at home, working on projects. Uh, and Lydia here has been, has adopted it um, into her complete workflow. It's really, really a great tool. 
Well, yeah, I wouldn't even use anything else, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. Um, for sketching, as I said, you see sketch is perfect. You no need for paper or mm -hmm. pencil. Uh, uh, and you can carry this everywhere and just uh, go to a coffee shop and draw if you on weekends, if you feel inspired. So a lot of votes coming in. Uh, Jim, Eric, Alejandro. Uh, Alejandro doesn't have an iPad, but he uses an Android tablet with stylus. Uh, Eric, uh, you like using Procreate. That's a great app as well. Um, Maggie, I use my iPad 90% of the time. What do you like uh, about Procreate, Eric? Yeah. Why would you recommend it to mm -hmm. use it? There's a lot of apps out there, so it's great to hear recommendations. Yeah. Uh, also, I got a couple of questions uh, oh, Nagar had, had answered. Um, so the uh, augmented reality app is called HP Reveal. It used to be called Erasma, mm -hmm. um, but you know these new apps, uh, they're brand new to the market. They're always changing their names. So right now it's called HP Reveal. Um, so you can find it in the App Store. I think it's for Android and iOS. So. Um, Download it, play around with it, take a look. It, it's having seen Lydia uh, play with it. Lydia, you were the first person I saw who was using this uh, kind of technology. And I mean, that was so the new. first app I've ever used yeah. for that kind of a purpose. Yeah. So. Uh, are are there any others out there that do the same thing? Um, I think there is one called like Layer or something like okay. that. I may mispronounce it. Or uh, Zep works. Mm -hmm. So there are a few others out there, but um, HP Reveal seems to be a great one to use. One thing I must say is that it's a pretty um, changing uh, market, mm -hmm. and it's yeah, um, definitely. It's it, it was changing. a little challenging for us to find the working app. Mm -hmm. um, so it's still very new. Um, new technology, yeah. Yeah. So you start out in Sketch. Um, are you just using the basic? Uh, graphite. I'm just using pencil the tool. pencil that comes with the app. Mm -hmm. So it's a default pencil. And what I did, I um, changed the size. Uh, well, yeah, so you can customize your brushes here. Mm -hmm. um, change the size, opacity, mm -hmm. and um, you can do more other things. Like so, it's a pre pr uh, it's an Apple pencil, and it's pressure sensitive. Mm -hmm. Do you use any of uh, Kyle Webster's brushes or any other packs? Do you um, like sticking to the basic tools? Yeah, if I want to do a digital painting mm -hmm. and I want a variety of brushes, I think Kyle Webster brushes are the first choice. Yeah. But if I just sketching out, I just use pencil. Mm -hmm. And then I um, I create illustrations usually on in iPad draw, mm -hmm. that is the vector drawing yeah. tool. So great differentiation. So um, Sketch is our raster drawing app, mm -hmm. um, really based on Photoshop's tools. And uh, Draw is based on illustra Illustrator's tools. Yeah. Um, so and you have a live vector image. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thomas, you pointed out uh, you can now rotate and do time lapse videos in Sketch as well. That's oh, yeah. really fun to see uh, your process um, after you're finished with the work, and you, you can just post it on YouTube or Instagram. Uh, it's really fun to see an end to end workflow like that. So, do you use a PC Sketch for your work? I do. I love. Uh, the simplicity of Sketch. You know, a lot, a lot of you folks were talking about Procreate and uh, you know the different ways um, and tools that are already used. But I really like the simplicity of Sketch. Um, I think the user interface is just really nice and simple. Um, yeah, it's pretty intuitive. Yeah, the it doesn't take long. Exactly. Um, I can just get in and start drawing and uh, just honestly, Procreate was a little, little bit tough for me to to work with at first. There's, there's a learning curve. Um, so I, I like just jumping into Sketch personally. Um, that's that's the one I work with the most. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that you know you can get all of Kyle's brushes for free with your subscription, uh, it's it's so much fun to draw in. Yeah, and I think uh, Adobe Sketch comes with some Kyle brushes. Here. It comes with all of them. Um, well, uh, like a preset. Oh, there, there, yeah, there are some presets um, in there. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Yeah, Jan, it's um, a just your common house sparrow um, that Lydia is drawing. So, uh, where all are you from? Hi, Renee, by the way. <laughs> where all are you coming from? You know, we're here in San Francisco, um, and uh, a little bit of bird nerd talk, but um, don't laugh at me, Lydia. Uh, ha house mm -hmm. sparrows are one of the most common birds in North America. Probably around the world too. You know, you can probably you can, sparrows and, pi and pigeons. Yeah, you can find them everywhere. Uh, trash birds, um, but they're really cute and beautiful. Seattle, Boston, Miami, Florida, Belgium. Jan, you're from Oslo. Oh, they're moving so fast. London, Phoenix, France. I can't keep up with all of you. Oh, everywhere. Lydia, you're not originally from the United States? No. I, I, I you know, I couldn't tell by your accent or anything. <laughs> you sound like you're right from California. <laughs> so, um, where did you grow up? You're such a flatterer. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I came to the U.S. Uh, five years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, at the time, so I was ra born and raised in Ukraine. And mm -hmm. um, that's where... I wanted to start a design and art, but it never happened. Mm -hmm. So I went to Germany where it did happen, and uh, I got accepted into a design art school there, and I got a degree. Um, and then life brought me here, and uh, I was so in um, in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I started. I've actually come from an artistic family. Uh, my grandfather is a painter. Gabrielle says, uh, Privet? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Privet means hello. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi in Russian. Mm. Um, well, hello to you, Gabrielle. <laughs> Gabrielle, where did you learn Russian? Maybe she is, well, she's, she's speaking more. I don't see it. Where, where, it's Katia. Как uh, дела? <laughs> how are you? Oh, okay. We got a Hi. language lesson here as well. That's exciting. You got a two-part well, deal. Well, that's funny because my first degree. Um, so I come from an artistic family, and um, I guess that's why I didn't study art and design in mm -hmm. the first place because it was just so natural. Mm -hmm. So I decided I decided to do something else, and I went to a. Um, well, I got a degree in linguistics. Mm -hmm and foreign languages and translation. Oh, wow. And, and then I thought, well, okay, um, I learned how to handle words, and now I think I'll go back and I'll learn how to make pictures. And that's why I went to Germany and um, got a degree in, in design. Mm -hmm. um, not, not so much art, like mm -hmm. our focus, primarily focus was on um, I creating, like typical graphic design, like creating identities mm -hmm. and, uh, editorial design layout and that actually what was my first job in a small consultancy firm where all I did uh, kinda, uh, was in charge of um, designing their quarterly magazine mm -hmm. and making illustrations promo materials and a little bit of video event work and photography mm -hmm. but it wasn't the focus and oh, then when I came stuff came here, I did a lot of freelancing, um, different companies, even worked briefly for Medium as a designer, mm -hmm. like layouting their um, stories, making a little bit of illustration mm -hmm. there. And then I ended up at Adobe, and I started as a um, instructional content designer, so I would make uh, tutorials uh, with focus on Illustrator and InDesign, and so some mobile apps. Mm -hmm. And um, now that role is ex expanding a little bit, and we're doing a lot of um, just creating general assets, yeah. internal, all internal, kinds of projects. Yeah, all and kinds of cool projects. posters as well. Yeah. Which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. Can be better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it can. Definitely. I think we've influenced uh, the chat to start learning languages. 
And Tim made a good point. Um, try to keep it in English, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> it's really And if impressive. you don't understand what I say, just point it out. Yeah. I'll, I'll repeat or I'll help. I'll, Ren will help yeah. translate. We both might be a little quiet. Okay, so I don't like the feet of this bird. Um, the, I mean, the reference image. Mm -hmm. uh, I will use a, a, a different one. So what I also like about Sketch is that you can um, actually make like something like a collage because, um, so let's see, I will place this image and I like this expressive feet here with a lot of contrast, yeah, I like a too. nice angle. So I will turn this photo photo into a separate layer. Mm -hmm. So, and now I can actually er erase parts of the image, which is let's uh, lower the opacity, transform, make it smaller, fit the size of the bird. Hi, Trisha. Um, Shout out from my team at Adobe. I also work at Adobe. Um, let's see. Charlotte asks, are there internships at Adobe? Um, I, that's a great question. Um, there are tons of internship opportunities at Adobe, especially in the, the UX um, team if you guys are designers. But there are all sorts of positions open, especially in the summer. Um, def those positions start opening up around now. Um, so they try to hire interns um, towards the spring. I uh, was an intern at Adobe, um, and so I did that as a summer internship uh, mm -hmm. before I joined Adobe full-time. So it's a great opportunity. So how do you qualify for an internship? Like, what do you have to do? Well, you have to be in school. Um, you have to be uh, looking, aiming towards you know, uh, finishing a degree of some sort. Um, Adobe likes hiring college graduates. Um, and depending on what you're interested in, you know, the positions range from uh, design positions, mm -hmm. um, marketing, uh, sales. They're really something for every everyone. Um, so, and so what do you do during the internship? Like, are you working on some special project? And how long is the internship? Just uh, three months? Yeah, it it can extend, but uh, the summer internship is about three months, um, and. A lot of our interns work on uh, specific projects, but could be just working like they would a full-time job um, for the summer. It's it's a really great opportunity. So um, search online for you know Adobe internships. They are they are out there. They are coming up. Um, and let's see. So you're drawing those feet. Yes. The new, so the you've new feed. You've created a photo layer on top of a photo layer and just yes. masked out those feet. Yep. Much cuter. Bird <laughs> surgery. <laughs> Hashtag bird surgery. And for those just of you in so the yeah. Behance chat, um, my pal Renee Dichery is in the chat. She um, is the PMM, the product marketing manager for our mobile apps. So um, she is a great person to chat with in uh, the chat about, about our apps. Um, so sorry to give you a shout out, Renee, but definitely talk with her. Okay, so um, I made a little mistake by um, using a not a high res. Um, document size, so I can't mm -hmm. like zoom in all the way I want to draw mm -hmm. the details. So what I'm will try to do, I will export this bird as an image, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll save it as an image to my camera roll, mm -hmm. and then, oops, I will create a new, um, open a new document, and this time I will choose. Yeah, iPad Pro. So this should be should give me. Yeah, I can now zoom in all the way, which is nice, and I can work on that yeah. on details. That's a great workaround. Uh, so if you guys want a higher res image and you didn't start your image on the, the right resolution, you can just save your image out 
um, and then bring it back in in a new mm -hmm. new page. So, so bam. I have to convert it to a sketch layer mm -hmm. so that I, I'm able to erase parts of it of the bird. And also, what is nice about um, <coughs> Adobe mobile apps, at least PC Sketch and mm -hmm. uh, Draw, is that you can rotate your canvas, which Two is nice. So you don't touch. have to do it with the actual yeah. iPad. Yeah, it's a new development. Yeah, I haven't had that last year. Yeah, it's really nice to have, especially when you're trying to get certain angles. Yeah. You don't want to rotate your entire iPad. Or maybe you do. Yeah, so now it's much, yeah, I can zoom in all the way mm -hmm. and create much crisper. Uh, yeah, cri yeah, crispy outlines, and place, which I don't want. And for those of you just tuning in, we are here with Lydia Lukianova, an amazing illustrator and designer, and she's uh, making a bird animation, starting out in uh, Photoshop Sketch on the iPad Pro. And so this is just the first part of her workflow. I, tomorrow, um, you should definitely tune in. Uh, she's going to be moving into Illustrator and InDesign, not InDesign, Photoshop, on the desktop. Um, and then on the third day, uh, she's going to be using the HP Reveal app to actually animate uh, the imagery to create a deliverable postcard. That would be great to send out as promotional material. Uh, using AR, um, really, really cool workflow. A lot of tools. A lot of tools, but they kind of flow together really well. Yeah. I, um, well that's what you needed to create a, definitely. a result like that. Yeah. Augmented reality and animations, you can't escape not using a lot mm -hmm. of tools. Definitely. And we do have a contest going on. Um, so if you're just joining today, um, if you go to be.net slash live and check under the challenge tab, um, we have a contest going on to design a superhero. And you can do this in either Photoshop or Illustrator. And we have uh, an asset for you to use. Um, so please use that asset in your design. You can alter it in any way you want, but make sure to start out with that asset. Um, so please, please join the contest. I like the drawing birds. I find it meditative. I agree. There's a fair amount of detail. And usually when I don't know what to draw, uh, I always go back to nature. Like animals and plants are good for anything. Definitely. It's just the way you interpret them mm -hmm. and uh, the technique you use. Yeah. Biology has uh, the best and original design, so it's great to tap into that um, for yeah, inspiration. Yeah, the best teacher. Definitely. For anything, the shapes and colors and mm -hmm. lines. Just the learning about general high rate, um, like even patterns. There are so many patterns in nature that you find. Mm -hmm. um, repetition. Definitely. Thanks for joining, Mitch. I can understand uh, burnout with all this creative energy going on. So have a good evening or afternoon or day, wherever you're coming from. What is everyone's favorite source of inspiration? Um, for me, it's birds, Lydia, nature as well, maybe? I would say nature, but also uh, other uh, artists. Like, uh, I like Definitely. I love going to museums, mm -hmm. and I like watch, um, looking at old masters. Yeah. Um, but I also like, I think Instagram is a gr great platform to mm -hmm. get inspired, you can find there are so many new people and just so much talent there. Definitely. Um, I like good movies and good music videos. Yeah, Jimmy Mitchell also has shows, movies, games. So definitely agree with shows. you on that. Shows, yep. Yeah. Uh, what kind of shows do you like? What kind of shows? Mm-hmm. Um, are we talking about like theatrical shows? So if you want. <laughs> I, lo I love Cirque du Soleil. That's my favorite. Yes, the costume design. I watched them in Las amazing. Vegas for the first time, and then yeah. second time here, and it's always 
blows up my mind. Yeah. Um, Margarita says uh, sunsets, illustrations of other artists. Ty says the beach, other artists and movies. Amber says music is my inspiration. Uh, Richard, totally agree with you. Uh, my main source of inspiration is deadlines. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people <laughs> could definitely agree yeah. with that. Um, Lisa, other artists I think are most inspiring. Voodoo Val says, my favorite source of inspiration is game concept art, movies, and stuff like that. Definitely agree with you, Val. I would uh, say just uh, sometimes, well, actually traveling. I mm. love traveling. Um, that's what gets my creative juices flowing and yeah. gives me a lot of ideas. Just to change the environment is always helpful. Mm -hmm. It helps you, like, because your brain starts thinking about some, like, starts focusing on other things. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I always, I, I like traveling. And when I have an opportunity to go on an extensive trip, <laughs> I'll use it fully. Like um, on my vacation um, last year, mm -hmm. I went to Cuba, and which was a wise thing to do. Um, it would be a little harder this year. And then I also went to, um, Argentina and uh, sounds like two relaxing places to be warm I weather would say it's never actually it's never relaxing to yeah. travel <laughs> let's be honest but once you have you're to there, sacrifice like there's good and bad mm -hmm. like lots of preparation well lots of planning and money and all that yeah but the payoff is um, good. Mm -hmm. and I do travel back home uh, which is far far away every summer mm -hmm. it's a long flight yes but that's where I can actually really <coughs> really relax because I don't have to speak a foreign language so it's um, I speak Russian back home mm -hmm. so it's a uh, nice and relaxing and it's just familiar. Everything is familiar. Yeah. Do we have a lot of world travelers? Yeah. Do any of you travel? What was like the, the the most um, the biggest adventure you've ever experienced as a tourist? I mean, the traveler. Question. What was the country? What was the destination? And what was the actual experience, like the highlight of that mm -hmm. trip? Uh, Nagar asks, uh, Lydia, do you draw traditionally as well? Or have you just shifted entirely to the, the iPad Pro? Um, I have that, yeah, I took some typical painting drawing classes back in design school um, as a ground like, class, mm -hmm. uh, foundation class. Um, I don't do it as much as I wish. Mm -hmm. Maybe later in life I will go back to the analog tools <laughs> like my uh, grandfather. So my mom actually was also um, an artist, um, she would make movie posters, um, the lettering part of it by mm -hmm. hand. And I remember I was a little girl and I would uh, come to her studio and help her um, put the, the, the ground uh, white base on this huge canvases. Oh, wow. Um, and then I would watch her use a brush and gouache paint and hand draw uh, the titles of the mm -hmm. movies. So that was that sounds like a really amazing source of inspiration. Yeah, and it was a pretty messy job too mm -hmm. <laughs> for her. Um. A lot of different places coming up. Um, Margarita says, uh, I've been to Japan, France, Cambodia, and studied abroad in Thailand. Uh, Kevin says, India. Uh, amazing, but so difficult to move around that country. Yeah, it's a little chaotic, but amazing the just the amount of people that are there and culture. 
Uh, Ty says Barbados for a month. The highlight was the culture and living with a family. Um, Dolly says Athens, Greece. Jade says, oh, yeah. I yeah. always dream to go to <laughs> Greece. It's on my list. Uh, Jade says going to Iceland on the 16th of March. Um, Iceland is the second on my list. <laughs> Iceland is number one on my list right now. Uh, Danielle says been to Singapore. Voodooval uh, does Tamriel's Skyrim Singapore is the first one on my husband's list. Yes. Singapore would be amazing to go to. Skyrim totally counts um, if you're adventuring on your uh, PC. Going to video games far and wide. I think that counts. Okay, um, let's do the other three birds. I think this one is fine. Now, um, we can always go back and uh, uh, see how it works in the actual test animation mm -hmm. in Photoshop. If anything needs to be clean, uh, like adjustment, we'll do that mm -hmm. later. But right now, let's get all the steps of the animation mm -hmm. sketched out. Um, yeah, something to consider if you're going to be working in uh, an AR app like HP Reveal is you not only have to think about your image, but you have to think about how it's going to animate. Um, mm -hmm. So Lydia, you've, you've put a lot of thought into this, thinking about um, how many frames are, am I going to need to mm -hmm. animate the bird? So uh, you said about four, right? Yeah, I think we'll have like four uh, frames, mm -hmm. you know, animation, the bird flying. So the postcard, what we're going to have in the postcard mm -hmm. is the, the bird. And um, the bird is going to fly, and we'll have a geometric background that will get animated mm -hmm. too. So that's the final result for day three, and we'll have the postcard printed, and then demo uh, use the uh, uh, HP Reveal app and mm -hmm. uh, see the uh, AR in action. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> I think it'll work. So if you have any questions about the actual apps and what they do, how they work, if you want more detail on anything, just ask. Uh, Emma asked, uh, how did you get started drawing? Um, I watched my grandfather and my mom, and you just do it. And I, well, I remember when I was like four years old or something, I um, used my mom's paint mm -hmm. and markers and I painted our bedroom door one day when she was away at work. Mm -hmm. So she came back and she saw this uh, piece of art, but she never, and there is no way to, like you have to repaint the door. Mm -hmm. But she never punished, like she always encouraged me to do art, even if it causes destruction. <laughs> but everything is kind of temporary. Mm -hmm. But if a child shows that inclination of be artistic, yeah. I mean, it's just it's okay to draw on do the walls. It. Yeah, draw on and the then door. we had that 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 um, art artwork for. Well, I went to college; it was still there. So we, <laughs> she never repainted the door. And then I also spoiled some water, uh, like uh, the walls, um, wallpaper, mm -hmm. and some books. Um, I don't know. My poor mom but never punished, <laughs> only encouraged, That's no good. matter what. I think everyone should be encouraged to, to draw, especially from a young age. I think it's, it's really important to foster that creativity in any way, if it's music, if it's theater, if yeah. it's art. Yeah, and it's, that's why when you're creative, it's good to get um, acknowledgement and encouragement from a creative uh, community, like be part of the community. Mm -hmm. Because that's what act, that helps you to just feel motivated Definitely. to kind of develop your skill and share it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's hard to be a loner. I mean, it's easy to be a loner. Yeah, I think um, a lot of artistic people have that tendency to kind of go do it on your own and like uh, escape in your own little world. But um, 
there are advantages and disadvantages. Like you need time to think, but at the same time, you also need um, to exchange with other people to Definitely. share. And I think it's easy to, to be on an island um, as a creative person, but that's why well, yeah. things like Twitch and Adobe Live are really important, I think. Um, thank goodness for the internet. Uh, how many of you like have fostered communities through being online? Mm -hmm. I don't think I would have as tight a community of, of friends without the mm -hmm. internet and without um, streaming. Yeah. And it's good to feel like you're in front of a bunch of other people, even when you're not. Yeah, but it, yes, and everybody is different. Mm -hmm. and, um, some people don't need acknowledgement um, or recon well, confirmation. Um, some need that social aspect, community aspect to their work. Mm -hmm. So whatever works best for you, you can choose to do anything you want today, which mm -hmm. is exciting. Pretty much you can develop any skill you want. Like I started uh, learning music mm -hmm. recently, like how to play a guitar. Yes. Because I just happened to be surrounded by people who do that. And it's like, well, I always liked music, but I didn't know how to do it. And now by watching them and just like hanging out with them, I realized, oh, it's easy. You just go to a uh, music store, mm -hmm. buy yourself a guitar, then go to on YouTube and watch some tutorials yes. and buy a couple YouTube of books fantastic. and that's how it works. Yeah. I, mean, you, I, will, I know that I will never become like a professional musician or anything, but it just mm. makes me feel good that I'm also, well, I'm learning a different artistic, um, well, a different skill. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. Yeah, definitely. Renee, thanks for coming. Sad to see you leave it too, but that's all right. Uh, I think we also have a giveaway coming up pretty soon. So um, if you guys could log in on be.net slash live. Um, I think the giveaway happens at two. Okay, so coming up pretty soon, 15 minutes. Um, and we are giving away, a, I believe we're giving away this guy. This beautiful, glorious pillow. Not this one, specifically, that I've t touched too much. Um, but one of these guys. So coming up, 15 minutes, join uh, be.net slash live. Come chat with us. Um, and you'll be entered in the giveaway. Yes, you do need that Photoshop pillow. <laughs> Bring it. I, no Adobe socks right now. We're doing the Photoshop <laughs> pillow. <clears throat> Embrace the pillow. Be one with the pillow. Good for naps. Good for sits. Long commutes. Long commutes. Bring it with. Good for my Caltrain ride. Just uh, roughly sketching out, doing details later. Mm -hmm. You'll be doing a lot of the de details and in, in, uh, uh, draw, right? And draw tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Gabrielle, can you just Photoshop pillow onto your couch? I mean, you could, but it's not as not as good as having it in real life. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna snooze right here. It's pretty comfy. So this is your second uh, My frame second for the animation? The, um, yes. Well, we'll figure out the order oh, later, okay. actually. This may be the third one. Yeah. We'll just try to get many different um, Four different movements. Mm -hmm. 
and then see how it all looks when we do a test in Photoshop. Maybe we'll have to switch the order or um, yeah, animation can be a little tricky. You gotta have the right amount of frames to make it feel fluid. Yeah. Um, gotta catch the right movement, especially with a bird. And Richard, the, the jazzy background music, I wish I could hear it. It's, it's in my heart. It's not, not in my ear holes right now. So glad you like it though. And don't forget about the contest we have going on today. Um, it's under the challenge tab. Um, when you go to be.net slash live, uh, the challenge today is to design your own superhero using the asset we have provided under the challenge tab. Um, you can do this in either Illustrator or Photoshop. Um, so we'd love to see what you come up with. So what do people like to draw? Definitely. I'm the kind of person who likes to draw a, a lot of different things, mm -hmm. and, uh, but I know that some artists just choose one subject matter and that's the, the birds, and they do it all their lives, and I find it's great. Mm -hmm. I, I wish I were that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anything people like to draw more than other things? Anything specific? Joe says he likes drawing animals. Val says she likes monsters and magical characters. Kathleen draws people or little objects. Hi, Kathleen. Uh, Ryan has been drawing the TV characters from This Is Us. I need to watch that. I hear it's amazing. Um, that's a that's great drawing from reference from just what what you watch every day. Great inspiration. <laughs> yeah, and it's good. Um, uh, to develop the skill, I think mm -hmm. it's good to draw from reference. Yeah. Um, or life. Just going to, life to develop the understanding mm -hmm. of the subject. If you see the details and just you learn how to do it, and then the next time you do it without the photo. Definitely. If, if you want. Like, I'm not good at drawing um, <laughs> cars. Me neither. Vehicles? <laughs> it's just so hard. <laughs> it, yeah, extremely hard. Even though I was surrounded by cars, like my, mm -hmm. my father was a driver and yeah. owned many different cars. And he actually built a car mm -hmm. um, a long time ago, <laughs> like a mini Jeep. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I never was good at drawing cars. Mm -hmm. I don't think I will start drawing them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something with a. Those architecturally straight lines. I, I don't know. I, I personally find more inspiration from nature. Um, I think it's just those fluid, rounder edges. I think I have more fun drawing from nature myself. Yeah. Okay, let's place another photo. Starting to speed up. Speaking of speeding up, you, you guys, in the next 10 minutes, are going to want to join the chat for that pillow giveaway, giving away a Photoshop pillow. Um, so come to be.net slash live, jump in, tell us what you like to draw, or anything, Where you, just say you hi. like to travel to. Where you like to travel to. What's your source of inspiration. Come talk to us. We want to hear it. Yeah. Share with the rest of us. Yeah, please. Uh, we're talking about what our inspiration is right now. So Amber says she likes to draw semi-realistic humans. Semi-realistic humans. I assume Amber, like, cartoon, or I, I don't like the word cartoon, but um, simplified characters, like you're you're putting in your style mm -hmm. um, to, to simplify and yeah, uh, nice create to see some humans. Yeah, do you have them up on your Behance? Do you guys use Behance to post your work? Um, Ryan says uh, people, he likes drawing, and do, yeah, he used to like mm -hmm. to doodle all the time as a kid. Do you doodle, um, who's that, Ryan? Uh, do yeah, doodle right in uh, public spaces, like to go to parks or cafes, and then or um, on trains. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of scared in draw of drawing in public. I don't know what it is. I like drawing at home in private. 
Uh, Natalia says patterns. Me too. I love surface design. Um, that's really yeah. fun to do. Madison says octopuses are my everything. Octopuses, but mostly nice. not things and creatures. Nice. A lot of good suggestions here. The pattern design I always get inspired by uh, William Morris. Ah, oh, William Morris's patterns are amazing. Going back through history and and seeing um, what other artists have done are a great source of inspiration. This is bird number three. Bird number three. And I don't think I have the, in the, the image for the fourth one. We'll mm -hmm. just uh, make it out different the <laughs> parts of other images. Okay. I was thinking you could take two of the layers that you have and kind of overlap one with a lower opacity and maybe like tween it. You know, you know yeah. how like rough in-betweeners do? Yes. In animation? Exactly. Yes. You can always, like you can take your previous sketch and mm -hmm. like you know, keep the, the, the head, let's say, and body and then just uh, redraw the wing. Mm -hmm. So there are all these different ways to do it. But I just like sketching. <laughs> Me too. So I'll just sketch out there the whole birds. Christopher says he recently started a sketchbook to loosen up and get back into drawing. Mm -hmm. I did well as well this year. I bought a new sketchbook. I like starting a new one at the beginning of the year. Just want to get loose in it. But mostly I've been drawing on the iPad. Gabrielle asks, uh, anyone know of a good resource for design and illustration conferences or events? Do you know of any, Lydia? Um, design conferences, well, Adobe Max. Adobe Max, definitely. You can go to that, and they have pre-conferences. Um, there are a lot out there. Um, I know uh, How Design Live is um, out there. Um, Icon is coming up very soon in July. Uh, that's a, um, it occurs every two years. That's, that's a big illustration conference. I'm going, um, it's a fun one. There's a des another design conference in 1990. Yeah, 1990U. If you're a design professional and yeah, to, to big learn inspiration. some inspiration and just uh, uh, learn how to uh, do business as a designer. Yeah. And get a network, it's a good resource. Mm -hmm. Good, good opportunity. Yeah. I think the next one is happening early May in New York. Mm -hmm. So we got five minutes left on that giveaway. Come to the chat, be.net slash live. Say hi. You can say anything if you want that sweet, sweet Photoshop pillow. It's a good one. So come and up on that five minutes left for that giveaway. And then don't forget about the challenge. Um, if you look at the challenge tab, uh, when you come to uh, Adobe Live on Behance, uh, the challenge is to design a superhero with the asset we have. Um, so all that information is under the challenge tab. I think after the giveaway, we'll start looking at some of the submissions. We've got quite Good. a few so far. People are going crazy for that pillow. Tell us you want that pillow. So what technique are, uh, are you using for creating, for drawing um, birds? Um, I think it's something something special, like, like a cutout technique of some sort. Yeah, well, I've kind of changed my process, but um, a lot of the ways I work, um, I can use a reductive process where I, I will draw out big blocky shapes um, of color and then cut away with the eraser um, mm -hmm. and sketch. Like I, I like working with shapes more than lines, I think. So there are a lot of different ways that you can work. Um, but I, can, I come from a printmaking background mm -hmm. as well, so that really influenced the way I work. 
three minutes left on the giveaway, guys. Come talk in the Behance chat with us. Jim says he can't wait uh, to see how to do the animation over the, the image. Me too. We'll show that. <laughs> it's coming up on Thursday. Yeah. So there's a lot of process in between then and now. Yeah, so today we'll just uh, focus on sketching. Mm -hmm. um, we'll try to get all the f all fur birds as a pencil sketch, but on iPad. And then tomorrow we'll vectorize the birds mm -hmm. uh, in Adobe Draw, mm -hmm. also on an iPad, and uh, create the uh, background and illustrator. So we'll bring them into Illustrator and start assembling our postcard tomorrow and uh, um, make the uh, geometric background that is going to be also animated. And then on day three, we'll go to Photoshop and make frame by frame uh, animations for our AR experience. And I'll have the, the postcard printed and we'll uh, demo it. Mm -hmm on day three. So today it's a little slow and relaxing, uh, trying to just get just loose get... with sketching. Yep. Drawing some birds. Are you guys drawing birds with us? Are you making any birds superheroes or on the challenge? Octopus and, superheroes? And uh, semi, what was it? Semi-human. <laughs> Semi-human characters. Um, characters. <laughs> All right, one minute left on the giveaway, guys. Less than a minute. Come to be.net slash live, post in the chat, and you can win this wonderful Photoshop pillow. Less than a minute left. Giveaway hype. for the pillow. Who's gonna win? All right, and the giveaway has closed. Who won? Gus, where am I looking? You getting it? You getting there? All right, we have to use our Adobe magic to figure out who the winner is. Christopher Monero, you are the winner of this wonderful Photoshop pillow. It's all yours. So again, Christopher Monero, you are the winner. Congratulations. Thanks for coming into the chat and joining that giveaway. Now we still have uh, the, the challenge uh, going on right now. Um, so the challenge is to design a superhero uh, using the asset that we have provided. You can find it under the challenge tab. Uh, if you go to be.net slash live, uh, you can find all the information there. Uh, the goal is to create your own superhero character. So we'll start taking a look at those entries in a moment.
What do people like to listen to? What kind of music when they work? Yeah. We're kind of working in silence here. But yeah. <laughs> I think you guys get to hear some music. Uh, Lauren, the deadline for the challenges. Um, the There's a deadline at the end of every uh, session. So Lydia and I are finishing up in an hour today. Um, so at the end of that, we're going to choose a winner. But um, they continue throughout the week. So there's going to be one more. Kathleen is coming back. Um, and... There'll be one more challenge today. Okay, um, now I'm going to make the fourth one, and that's All the right, last four. one. I'm actually going to use a different bird. We'll just give the wing. That's not a sparrow. I'll just erase, give the wing, erase the rest of the image. Any music recommendations? What have we got? In chat. We got Slipknot. We've got Work to 90s Dance and Dubstep. Electronica. Definitely gotta get pumped. Uh, slow Instrumental or Soft Indie. Discover Weekly playlist on Spotify. I oh, love nice. using Discover Weekly. Mm -hmm. um, Jan says he's learning to be comfortable with silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Ambient or white noise. Oh, Tim corrected me. Um, so there's 27 minutes left uh, in today's challenge. We need a, an, a half hour to, to wrap up and go through the submissions. Mm So let's start taking a look at the submissions here. Uh, if we could switch over. So we've got this really cool cyber girl. I love this. Uh, I like the neon colors. Yeah. I, there is something um, very futuristic. Mysterious about the color palette. Definitely. I did, I'm wondering uh, if image trace was used in the background. It looks like there could be a bit of image trace. Some good. Illustrator skills going on here. So it's done in Illustrator? Yeah, I think so. Ooh. Mm, this would interesting. Yeah. Well, a uh, good composition. Did a couple. Good. I like Laundry. this geometric. Very talented. Look, but yeah. at the same time, kind of dimensional. Mm -hmm. This this 3D effects is achieved through uh, shadows. Yeah. I like cardboard box, man. Yeah, it's, a nice it's my kind of superhero. Mm -hmm. Super hipster. Super hipster. I like it. Would work Good really meat. well in San Francisco here. Got a lot of those roaming around. Nice muted palette. Mm -hmm. I like the simple background. Super beaver boy, Ryan. This is nice. I like the transition. It reminds me of a uh, back in the, the 90s. Lydia, I don't know if you'd be aware of this, but in the United States, Animorphs were really popular. The uh, the book cover, that so it reminds, reminds me of, of that. Of something else, a Russian matryoshka. Mm -hmm. Do you know the wooden doll and oh, there's yeah. a dolls inside it? Mm -hmm. Invisigirl. Like that. I like these patterns and a few textures, the gradient. Green Arrow. Are this all different artists? Yeah. A lot of variety. 
It's interesting how the color the color palette is pretty similar mm -hmm. in a lot of them. I'm thinking that um, they may have been influenced influenced by the assets that were given oh, to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that could be a possibility. Oh, this is oh, that's cute. <laughs> this, yeah, cute. Monster and hero. Nice warm colors. Mm -hmm. Red and, and green. Yeah. Complement each other. Super designer. Like the background. Um, yeah, good contrast. Mm -hmm. Mayor Alexa and Wannabe Man. What's this guy doing? What's he drinking? Lab safety. Those are great. AI girl. Or Maria. Girl. <laughs> I like that. Flying around. Matches the color of the product. Mm hmm which is good. Yeah. <laughs> Vector man. I like his outfit. I like that V. It reminds me of South Park for some reason. This particular character. Might be the head. Very cool. All right, we can switch back to, to drawing. Those are the submissions we have so far. Mm, I'd love to see more from you guys. You guys have 21 minutes left to submit to us. Really talented bunch. I'm really impressed with what's what's being submitted so far. Can't wait to see what else you guys have in store. Okay, now I'm assembling my bird out of different pieces. My last bird with a wide wing flap. Mm -hmm. Brian asks if he can put the design in the template. Uh, what do you mean, Brian? I'm not sure. Um, if you could cl clarify that, I believe you can put it in the template. Uh, what kind of a template? The uh, the template for the the challenge. Okay. Keep drawing. <laughs> <clears throat> we should have shared that template. So this is bird number four. Yep. The last bird. And so for something like this from start to finish, um, you know, going through the mobile app, going through into Illustrator um, and Photoshop and then back into HP, how long does something like that normally take you? Like for the, for the same <clears throat> motel poster, um, how long did this take you? What, what's, your, what's your process? Yeah, so I think it took like uh, maybe four weeks or so, but mm -hmm. um, preparation and figuring out the what the actual concept is mm -hmm. um, takes a long time. So the research phase could be uh, um, like a week or something and mm -hmm. trying to sketch out different ideas and see what works, what doesn't work. Mm -hmm. and. Well, often with uh, these particular projects, uh, creating music posters for uh, Max, um, mm -hmm. Bash, we don't really know what the band is, yeah. but we have to start working on the concept. Mm -hmm. So we come up with the ideas that could be applied to many different um, bands mm -hmm. and stuff and genres of music. Yeah. So that's what happened with this one. Mm -hmm. um, we, one of the ideas was, oh, why not create something, like a, a building with windows and, and show what is happening in each window, similar to the uh, mm -hmm. Hitchcock's movie, Real yeah, Window. Yeah, definitely. 
Um, yes. And then we learned that the band is called Saint Motel, and mm. it made sense. It's perfect, so it, uh, yeah. Blended organically, Definitely. the idea and um, yeah. the band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would say uh, three to four weeks. Okay, but for something like this. From start to finish. A lot quicker. Yeah. But animation part, depending on how complex animations are, could uh, take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Because you pretty much, like this particular um, mm -hmm. Here, we can design. Focus on with the camera. Yeah. And so it, it, it has, what, seven, seven windows, mm -hmm. seven animations. It's like designing, yeah, it's designing eight you posters. Guys can see that? Yeah. Yeah, so, well, a bunch of little illustrations in each window. Yeah. So it's like eight posters, I would mm -hmm. say. It, it was a pretty time in, intense. Yeah. So, um, um you guys can go to Olivia's uh, Behance page to check this poster out, as well as some of her other work. Um, pretty cool stuff. And now we're trying to make, um, well, the goal is to make a mini poster, a postcard, a mm -hmm. promo card that has a uh, AR uh, component to mm -hmm. it. So we're working on the fourth image for this AR postcard. Yes, so, my, so for my postcard, similar to Max poster, in one of the windows we have um, birds yeah, in a cage the camera. and the animation. Can you see? Well, let, yeah, let's show, let's show the animation. I'm really bad at this. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, yes, oh. birds. Wait, we gotta, we birds. gotta shift it over. Okay, wait, move the... Can we do this? Okay, so this is uh, the HP Reveal app. I need to... There you go. Yes. So it starts animating when you use the Reveal app. Oh, is it? Oh, no, this is hard to do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> nope, we're not. <laughs> okay, this camera is really hard to finish with, so. Anyway, yes, but that's the idea. So we're going to have a postcard yes. with a flying you guys bird. Will, we'll see more of the it animated background. On Thursday yes. when we animate it. And we're using mostly iPad. To draw so you, and then Photoshop for um, the animation part. Yeah. Do you guys think you're gonna check out uh, the HP Reveal app now that you know about it? Well, they don't know yet. Well, but they've, after, they've seen on a day little bit. Three, on day three, you guys are really when they actually use. will see the benefits yes. of it <laughs> and how it can be used. You guys have 14 minutes left to get your submissions in for today's challenge to design a superhero. Yeah, so I'm just roughly sketching, mm -hmm. and then I will revisit it by adding details. So, will you, later will you be adding any details in uh, sketch, or you do well, most I'm of that and draw? It's a sketch. Okay. So I will um, refine my birds mm -hmm. and make them look all consistent because right now it's pretty rough, uh, rough drawings. Can we take a look at 
how it's looking right now. Well, this is pretty with rough all the, right I now. mean, with all the, uh, the other three. I don't know if it... So we've got four images uh, happening right now. Lydia's working on the fourth. So they're each going to be frames of an illustrated animated postcard. Mm -hmm. It'll be the final deliverable. And so we're working in Adobe Sketch on the iPad Pro. And for the AR um, app that we had mentioned, that is HP Reveal. Mm -hmm. And it used to be called Erasma, but they recently changed the name of it. Oops. And it is a free app, right? Yeah, it's, it's free. Mm -hmm. And so is Sketch. It's a free app and uh, you can use it uh, in tandem with Photoshop and Illustrator and you can bring your images directly through Creative Cloud into mm -hmm. Photoshop and Illustrator, any of the apps. It's great for working on the go. Yeah, it's like a MIDI, Photoshop, raster drawing tool. Mm -hmm. But you can do pretty cool stuff with uh, Photoshop Sketch, actually, because it has watercolor brushes. And it has now, um, you can use Kyle Webster brushes. Mm -hmm. So maybe that will be uh, the, uh, the topic for the next uh, session. Yeah, definitely. The uh, digital painting. Yeah. And Jade asks, uh, do you guys feel that now and in the future all illustrators will use the iPad to draw or some sort of digital tablet? Um, I wonder if it's going to be like a virtual tablet of some yeah, sort. Yeah, <laughs> or um, I know I've seen some e-paper um, uh, hardware coming out as well. Uh, e-paper is a little different. Uh, what, what, what is e-paper? Yeah, it. I'm not sure how it works, but it's it's a mat. Um, think of the Kindle, like just the the paper white. I think um, that uses that kind of technology. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not familiar on the tech, but it, it's very different from like a digital tablet. Um, it works in different ways. But as far as will you know, all illustrators be using digital tablets? Um, it's a possibility. Uh, the more people that I see start using. A digital tablet, um, like it's a, if it's a Surface uh, Pro or if it's mm -hmm. an iPad Pro, they love it. Like it really streamlines streamlines your workflow. Um, and Lydia, you had mentioned that you've moved all the way to using uh, the iPad Pro. Um, yeah, I'm not using paper anymore. Yeah. Um, so will everyone be using it? It's hard to say, but you know, once you have one in your hands, it's such an easy transition. Um, so it's a possibility. Joe says we'll be wearing 3D headsets and drawing with our mind. I, yeah, we're all gonna be heads in jars and living in a VR sphere for sure. At least that's how video games are going now. And some art. Um, Lindsay brings up the, you've also got things like the tilt brush, yes. Um, it's really cool to see how drawing is making advances um, using VR technology, like using the Oculus Pro. Um, yeah, does anybody have experience with those tools? Yeah, have, VR. Have any of you used VR or AR to, or what, to make illustrations? Yeah, what uh, so um, or designs? What would you recommend? Yeah, to start in VR drawing mm -hmm. or painting. I saw some really cool um, animations done in Oculus mm -hmm. on Instagram. Yeah, I have, I've seen them too. Which uh, it looks very inspiring. Like yeah. It makes me want to try that. There's also uh, those 360 images. I've been seeing a lot of those using um, just that 360 imagery technology to make illustrations. That's that's really cool to see. So how, does, how does that work exactly? Do you know? I, I don't know. I, I, I want to learn how to do it. Um, but. You know, like when you go to Facebook and you, you see those 360 photos, you can you can apply the same thing to an image. Mm -hmm. um, I think you use After Effects or um, something similar to, to create those effects. 
Jade, I totally agree with you. It's really exciting to be an illustrator and designer in this this time. There's so much new tech going on. And in a way, overwhelming because you want to try yeah. all those things, but you only have 24 hours in the exactly. day. Exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of new stuff going on. So I think it's it's just you find one thing, you start playing with it, and yeah. see if it sticks. And also technology changes so fast. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Things are always evolving. Um, it's hard to keep up. Like with the HP app, they renamed it. Constantly. Yes, so our poster actually has, um, it says, download the Rosma app, but now mm -hmm. when you go to iTunes, it's <laughs> yeah, not called the Rosma app reveal. anymore. It's kind of hard to find. <laughs> so seven more minutes on the uh, challenge for the session. So make sure to submit your uh, superheroes to Behance. Uh, Kathleen asks uh, if we've talked about our journeys working in corporate design. Uh, a little bit. Um. Well, uh, yeah, I think Ren has uh, a longer history than me. Oh, goodness. That, actually. I, <laughs> I, I, th I think you do more uh, mm. work on a daily basis, so, um, you know, but I... You started as an intern? Yeah, I started as an intern at, at Adobe, and so did Kathleen. Um, and we worked together doing... Um, learn content at Adobe. So we would make uh, imagery um, and design the tutorials for mm -hmm. Adobe and teach you how to use some of um, our apps. So it was a lot of fun. Did that for a summer um, and transitioned out of that um, going full time at Adobe. Um, so it was a lot of fun. Um, and Lydia works on the studio team. Yeah. And also started as a uh, tutorial mm -hmm. designer, making tutorials for um, Illustrator and InDesign. Mm -hmm. And uh, now uh, focusing more on um, creating internal um, graphics and um, illustrations, mm -hmm. event assets, um, a little bit of uh, identity. But the work is always changing, but never, it's never yeah, it's, dull. It's always, it's, always, it's always busy. Yeah, challenging, but very exciting. Mm -hmm. And just, you always try to push your boundaries and try new things. Mm -hmm. And also stay, uh, stay up to date with the uh, trends. Yeah. Know what is going on. Definitely, whether it's... So that affects a lot the yeah. things I do. Mm -hmm. It could be style or the kinds of imagery that people are interested in or even the kinds of technology that people are are focusing on um, it's, it's always changing i feel like right now with a lot of design there's a lot of super flat um, imagery that comes with app designs um, that people are following So I think we'll see more AR and VR this year, mm -hmm. next year. Which is cool. Okay, um, I think we have all four birds for now. What I would do mm -hmm. at this point is just to go back and uh, revisit my sketches. So in more detail. Yeah, when you're revisiting your sketches, you're you're making sure that everything's going to work um, together and just add in more details. If, yeah, everything looks like the lines are mm -hmm. the way I want them, and uh, the bird the. Everything looks consistent mm -hmm. throughout the sketches because I will use them as my base for the vector illustration mm -hmm. tomorrow. Oops. 
Uh, Jade asks uh, if there are any good sites or blogs for keeping up with design trends. Uh, Anita responded to look at Creative Pro. That's a great resource. Um, how post a lot of good stuff. Uh, there's there's a lot out there. <laughs> Actually, I like to go to Behance a lot mm. and Instagram. Behance is great. Yeah, there's so much good art there. I love to follow new artists. Um, I also like like uh, Illustration Friday mm -hmm. or uh, Boom. I think it's called Boom. Boom. Yeah, it's with seven O's. I think so. Boom. Mm -hmm. It's a great one. Uh, juxtapose, high fructose. Yeah. It's nice that. Mm -hmm. Hafid asks if uh, Lydia is going to animate the bird. Not today. Um, stick around until Thursday, and we're going to be working. Um, we'll actually can do a test tomorrow, okay. just with the sketches yeah. in Photoshop before so we we'll start, start. Uh, creating vectors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to so, see how it works. Yeah, come back tomorrow. First Check thing. That out. <laughs> yeah. Just a couple more minutes left on that get uh, that challenge. So um, for the session. So please submit your entries so we can take a look at them. Kevin says the sketch is looking good. Hi, Kevin. I work Thank with you, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> it is looking really good. Oops. The battery is going low. Hmm? We might make it. So just so one more minute to submit your entries. Bring them in. Bring your superheroes to me. We want to look at them. Check them out. And coming up after us uh, in half an hour, uh, Kathleen is coming back to you and with illustrator Mark Asumi. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I, I botched that last name. I'm sorry. Uh, Uzmiani. Mark Uzmiani. So he's going to be coming up with Kathleen next after us. All right, and that is the deadline for the challenge. Thank you guys for submitting. We're gonna take a look at those final entries. Just got a couple in. Don't fret if you didn't finish on time. Kathleen will be taking a look at them in the next session with Mark. I think let's take a look at those final entries. I think we have three more. So this is from Andre. Super. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. I like the texture and mm -hmm. pattern. Super halftone. Andre, what did you use um, for the? Did you use Illustrator or did you use? Uh, it Photoshop. looks like it, it lo looks like Photoshop here. It looks like Sketch actually. It looks like it might be Kyle Webster's brushes. If I'm not mistaken, it's a half tone brushes. I could be wrong, but that's my guess. Texture is really cool. Andre says half tones in Photoshop. Great. This one's really cool. Cosmonaut the superhero. Idea, idea. Yeah. Really cute. Tetsuya. Nice use of um, 
different blending modes yeah. in Illustrator Rusticia. to add that layer of depth. Yeah, I like our costume. Really nice. And those are the last few entries, so um, we'll make a decision uh, towards the end of the show to decide on who wins the challenge. Okay. So, but for now, we'll we'll finish up these the wonderful sparrows. Birds. Yeah. Really great work from you all. I'm super impressed with the variety and the use of both Photoshop and Illustrator for for these characters. I want to see them all in their own cartoons. Kevin says these would make cool puppets for character animator. Mm -hmm. I agree. Kevin yeah. works with the, the video apps, so um, character animator is really cool. Uh, you can use Illustrator uh, images to then animate um, as puppets. Should try that tool. Mm -hmm. Do you have experience with it? I don't, but I really would like to use it. I've seen some great tutorials using it, mm -hmm. um, and it seems pretty easy. Looks intuitive. Mm -hmm. Definitely very intuitive. Uh, Brittany asks uh, what app are you using on the tablet, and she is using Photoshop Sketch. Um, if you are just tuning in, we have Lydia Lukianova here. Uh, she's a very talented illustrator and designer. And we are working on a postcard uh, using augmented reality uh, later uh, on Thursday mm -hmm. to create an animated postcard. That would be a great deliverable um, as a promotional item. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so um, today we're just making um, sketches uh, for that will be, um, will make the frame, so our animation mm -hmm. and the AR experience. So I decided to draw birds, and um, that's like the uh, uh, key visual for my uh, postcard. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we use the um, HP Reveal app and look at the printed postcard through the uh, uh, phone, mm -hmm. the bird will fly and will also have a uh, uh, geometric background, uh, like pulsating um, mm -hmm. circles. So I think it will look good. Yeah. And uh, we're just showing how one of the ways of adding an AR um, experience to your static design. There are mm -hmm. many different ways. You don't have to use an iPad or you don't have to use a mobile app for this. You Definitely. can just go straight to Photoshop and start drawing your frames and then create a video and have a printed image and you overlay that video using some kind of a free AR uh, tool available online and that's how you get a reality piece. But this is uh, my process and that's, that's how we tried it mm -hmm. and it worked. And since I'm mostly using iPad uh, for creating uh, art, um, that's why um, I'm using Sketch and Draw. Yeah for my illustration, the initial stages of my mm -hmm. creating illustrations. Yeah, it's a great workflow, uh, especially if you're used to drawing on paper. You know, drawing on a, a tablet feels really natural, especially with the iPad, and I feel like Apple nailed it with the, with the pencil. Yeah, and the, la the latest uh, iPad is, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> like you, there is not much of a lag mm -hmm. at all, and um, the colors, the, the colors of the screen are warmer. Yeah. So it's not um, distracting. Like it feels very natural to mm -hmm. work with it, and um, yeah, and the pen pencil is uh, amazing. The pressure sensitive, and you can do many different things, like simulate yeah, pressure. Shade. Like if you use the side of your pen, mm -hmm. you can. Um, cover wider areas yeah, like it feels you can, really uh, good uh, create shading mm -hmm. which is nice like yeah. that. this is looking really beautiful what do you guys in the chat think of Lydia's illustration so far I wouldn't call it an illustration it's just more like a rough rough sketching here 
illustrated a bird. Mm -hmm. Birdistration. Bird. Lydia's a birdistrator. Is anybody drawing a lawn? Yeah, are you guys drawing along? People are definitely liking the bird. Ian says it's going to animate really well. I agree. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah. yes, we had a smart approach. We found a series of images. Yes. Finding um, stock as a with, reference. with multiple images that, that show that animated uh, movement, I think, really helps. Yeah. Especially if you're new to animation, if you can find photo or yeah. video reference. And that's certainly like I never didn't like I didn't try animation mm -hmm. up until this project. Yeah. So that was like my first real animation experience. Photoshop makes it easy as well. Like once Lydia goes into Photoshop tomorrow to mm -hmm. animate it, Photoshop's got a really great feature that simplifies the the animation. Um, I've I've played with little animation as well and I, I think it's really intuitive um, if you have a bunch of still frames. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is change the layers um, and yeah. to create that animation. They have a little timeline. <coughs> have any of you uh, done animation at all? Are any of you animators out there? And what would you recommend? Like, how, yeah. how do you approach animation projects? Like, what mm -hmm. do you do? Do you start with storyboards? I, I know there's a a common process to do it and then individual approach mm -hmm. um, and then just something you just do it you don't know how you do it but you mm -hmm. just start doing it yeah. and see what works so those who do animation professionally like what is your typical flow mm -hmm. um, tell us <laughs> share your experience yeah. If you guys need some animation inspiration, Lydia, do you want to show off that same motel poster again? Okay. Let's, uh, we're gonna we're gonna make this work this time. I'm gonna make the GoPro camera go the right way. Here, we actually can. If you have it, if you want to full screen that. Wait. So it would be that way for you guys. Okay, so Lydia is using the HP Reveal app, and as she holds it over the poster, it reveals Video. the animation on it. So this is what the final postcard. Yeah. So this is going to have the, po it. the the actual uh, poster was mm -hmm. done on an iPad. Um, we started with Photoshop Sketch. Mm -hmm made the pencil sketches and then vectorized everything in Adobe Draw again on an iPad mm -hmm. and created this the animations also on an iPad for mm -hmm. each individual window. Can I see the app again? And then we added, like, cleaned everything up in uh, Illustrator and uh, after that used Photoshop to create animations. Mm -hmm. You can see the little heart pulsing. You can go through all the little the windows. Shark. The little shark guy. What's this reading guy doing? The girl. Girl? That's a girl. Hiding. Indeed. She's peeking. So, a lot of cool little... And then there's this mysterious lady. Yeah. Um, the birds. Yeah. Really great stuff. So that'll be the final, final day so as on I was Thursday. Saying, and we brought all the pieces together the aesthetic image mm -hmm. that is a trigger and then the video overlay in a free AR yeah. tool that is called Orasma. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a platform, a website where you go and you upload the uh, JPEG of your poster mm -hmm. or your postcard and then you add a uh, 
video or animation on top of it and it allows it's very intuitive and easy to use and it allows you to resize and fit everything perfectly and then all you need to do is to download the uh, Orasma app that is now called HP Reveal HP Reveal and you just look through your phone onto uh, to, at your poster and it magically it'll, animates yeah it it's animates so cool so it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. um, you just need to figure out what you want to, do, how you want your static image look like, and mm -hmm. how you want animations um, work. Yes. And download the app. Download the app. <laughs> All right. So we've got about twelve minutes left. Any advice on how to approach animation projects from um, yeah. animators on behalf? What are you guys talking about in terms of animation? To get books by Chris and Trish Meyer on for After Effects. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the rec, Kev. Well, Skillshare classes, yeah, that's a good advice. Mm -hmm. Always helpful. Um, uh, David asks, how many layers or keyframes will you use for your animation? Well, <laughs> well, 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 for this one, we'll use, uh, f for the bird, just four, four layers. Mm -hmm. But then, depending on how complex our background is going to be, um, we may have like 10, maybe 10 layers, or something like that. Okay. Yeah. So the so background. So it, it may be like 20 different layers in mm -hmm. Photoshop. Sounds like a lot, but it'll come together really smoothly, I think. Lonnie says he studied animation, but he sucks at it. I don't believe that. <laughs> I bet you're great. Zhang says uh, 10 layers means 10 frames. Does a layer um, necessarily? No. Okay. So layers. Uh, so the number of frames doesn't really match the number of layers mm -hmm. because sometimes you add the same um, the same layer mm -hmm. to make more frames. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but we'll go in detail on day three when we actually start doing it so mm -hmm. that everybody understands how it works. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so. Hi, Kendall. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, Kendall. Thanks. Kendall's, Kendall's another Adobe friend. Mm, and my colleague. Yeah. On the same team. Well, actually, she was on Adobe Live mm -hmm. before. She was. She's also very good at drawing on an iPad. And f a, a <laughs> amazing photographer. Yes. You should go check her Instagram, Kendall yeah. Plant. She did the splash screen for a um, Lightroom. Lightroom. Mm -hmm. Lightroom CC right now. Enough gushing about Kendall. So um, Julius, uh, I think, asked what's the app called, and it's HP Reveal, for any of you who missed that. That's the AR app that will animate your imagery. And coming up next, uh, very soon. Kathleen is coming back with Mark Uzmiani. And they're going to be working on some more illustration work. And keep working on your superheroes. So that you can keep working on them and submit them for the next round. Um, so if you go to be.net slash live. You can find out all the information uh, under the challenge tab. And please use the asset provided. Um, if you don't use the asset, uh, we can't uh, qualify you for the challenge. So sorry about that. So Lydia, tomorrow, what, um, what's the plan? So tomorrow uh, we'll start with a uh, quick test mm -hmm. in Photoshop. 
So we'll uh, place our um, sketch images uh, in Photoshop and see how the animation works, mm. if it works. And then it'll work. We'll go back and maybe, um, well, refine some parts mm. and start vectorizing the birds in uh, Illustrated Draw. Mm -hmm. um, it's a different app on an app, as it, that is vector drawing mm -hmm. tool. And then tomorrow we'll also um, use Illustrator to actually start designing our postcard and that will serve as a trigger mm -hmm. um, for the animations. Okay, that's exciting. Um, I will not be your host Full tomorrow. Schedule tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, um, Erica Larson will be hosting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She's another talented colleague and um, great designer and letterer. Yeah, she's very wonderful. Um, but I'll be back on Thursday to help finish up the illustration. Yep. The postcard, the deliverable, the, mm -hmm. the animation, augmented reality. And in just a few minutes, we will be deciding on the winner of the challenge. Not yet, not yet. Keep drawing. Very soon. So I'm very excited to announce who will be winning. Lydia will help me decide on who wins. A lot of Adobe friends this week. It's a good week for Adobe friends. So Lydia, now that you've done a couple of pieces with this AR app, do you think I'll use it more? Definitely. I can't yeah. see anything without it anymore. Yeah? <laughs> all of it, all the time, AR? But I really want to, as I said, I'm really curious right now uh, mm -hmm. about uh, VR yeah. and the potential there mm -hmm. with it for animation and illustration. So that's that could be a, the next yeah. um, experiment for me. Well, if you guys will download um, the HP Reveal app to follow along with this, uh, we'll, be, we'll be using that a lot on Thursday. Um, so again, it's called HP Reveal. It's available in the App Store. And it's free. VR is definitely so cool. I agree with you, Lonnie. Bird's looking mighty handsome. Mighty handsome. <laughs> That's good. What does everyone think? Should we name this bird? Well, how would you name it? I don't know. Mm. Chat? Tell me. <laughs> what would you name this bird? <laughs> we don't have to make a final decision today, but... Maybe we can name it on day three when it's all done and he's mm -hmm. all full in yeah. color. And I agree. Actually start, start thinking about it. Yeah. What is in motion? Yeah. Kind of shows its uh, character mm -hmm. more. But right now he's still in development. Mm -hmm. All right. I think it is time. Or she. Or she. You guys can decide. Could be agendered. We don't know. Probably. Okay, let's take a look at the final selections. Lydia, can you help me decide on who's gonna win the challenge for this round? So, we've so got Andre's submission. So we're just gonna take a look at Which ones did these. you select? Yeah, selected Cosmonaut Superhero. Really like this one. Frostisha. From Tetsuya. I, like, I like the colors and I also like the level of complexity, mm -hmm. the layers and different blending modes. So I agree. It's really nice. They're, they're all nice. Mm -hmm. um, I liked um, Cardboard Box Man from Juan. Great use of shapes. I like the environment. Yeah, it has in. a more like 3D feel to it. Mm -hmm. 
which is it's good. Yeah. yeah. We've got super hipster. Like the style of this character. Super Beaver Boy from Ryan. Really adorable. I like the use of the uh, background. Yeah. The <coughs> what do you think? No, that's a, a nice contrast to kind of clean mm -hmm. shapes that are almost like icon like. Yeah. And then we have Super Illustrator Girl. I like, I like this one too, it has color. a character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it radiates through the mm -hmm. strength. She's fighting with vectors. Mm -hmm. And I think she succeeded. Definitely. Judging by the, <laughs> the way she, she looks. She is confident. <laughs> yeah. So what do you, what do you think, Lydia? It's your um, top pick. I think I'll, I'll go for the, well, my, my choice would be the box guy. Cardboard box man? Yeah. Or... Uh, or <laughs> they're all nice. I don't they know. They are really nice. I don't know. It's hard to choose. I let you to make that decision. No, Lydia, you need to. You need to. Can I go back to, to my bird, please? <laughs> no, you can't. You have to make the decision. Uh, so wait, I'm making the decision. You here. make the decision. Oh, okay. Well, help me choose. Um, I feel peer pressure here. Um, okay, let's. Um, I like the sen like, I like the message of this one. The mm -hmm. girl um, apparently she's been fighting with vectors yeah. and uh, she actually succeeded and uh, she, so she it's won motivating. The it's inspiring. Um, I like it. Just go do it attitude. Mm -hmm. Let's do it, Miriam. You are the winner. Congratulations. All right. And what is the price? The it's, gift? It's one. It's a Creative Cloud subscription. Oh, so. okay. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the end of the session today. Lydia, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you guys for joining. Up next, we have Mark Uzmiani. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, so with uh, Kathleen and gonna be a great round so please uh, come back in a couple minutes and I will see you guys on Thursday Lydia will be back tomorrow mm -hmm. and we'll continue yeah <laughs> bye guys thank you